Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the general prayer intention that Pope Benedict has given us this month is that all nations may grow in appreciation of the dignity and value of women. Women have always been important witnesses of the faith and the value of human life. In fact, today the Church honors two young mothers of the third century who were killed because they refused to renounce their Christian faith. Perhaps you've heard their names, Perpetua and Felicity. These names appear in the first Eucharistic prayer at Mass. May these holy women pray with us now as we listen to part of the message to women that was given at the solemn closing ceremony of the Second Vatican Council in 1965. And now, it is to you that we address ourselves, women of all states, girls, wives, mothers and widows, to you also consecrated virgins and women living alone. The hour has come when the vocation of woman is being achieved in its fullness, the hour in which woman acquires in the world an influence, an effect, and a power never hitherto achieved. That is why, at this moment when the human race is undergoing so deep a transformation, women, impregnated with the spirit of the gospel, can do so much to aid mankind in not falling. You women have always had as your lot the protection of the home, the love of beginnings, and an understanding of cradles. You are present in the mystery of a life beginning. Our technology runs the risk of becoming inhuman. Women of the entire universe, whether Christian or non-believing, you to whom life is entrusted at this grave moment in history, it is for you to save the peace of the world.